Alrighty guys, welcome back for yet another Dokkan Battle video and today we do have a teaser from Dokkan themselves. Now, I should probably stop chewing gum. Just one second. Anyways, <laughs> little bit right there, no I'm kidding. No, but I actually have to spit out gum. I'm getting off topic. Anyways, randomness aside, Jesus, I'm terrible. But um, Raditz is the next Dokkan Fest. Um, to be honest, I didn't really expect this. I did not think, again, Raditz was going to be the next dude to come over to um, Dokkan. But yeah, Raditz is the next Dokkan Fest. Um, I mean, they gave Videl a Dokkan Fest. They gave Ginyu a Dokkan Fest. Raditz, honestly, was really deserving of it. Like, in the tier list of units that deserve a Dokkan Fest, it's like Demon King Piccolo, Mercenary Tau... You, you got Ginyu, you got Raditz, like, all of those OG villains, OTN, like, all of those OG villains back in the day, you know, they desperately need, you know, like, Dokkan Fest exclusives, which they've gotten Ginyu and Raditz down now, which I am a huge fan of. Um, Majin Vegeta, again, he did get a Dokkan, uh, Dokkan Fest, but eventually he was eventually gonna get one. You know, he's, like, one of those super popular characters, but, again, I'm getting sidetracked here, so... Um, specifically what I want to see in Raditz and what we're going to talk about today is what I could envision him being, um, in terms of, like, his leader skill, his typing, um, and then maybe the categories that he's going to be on, because maybe they might add, you know, this Raditz to maybe a few new categories. Um, so right off the bat, what I personally think this Raditz is going to be is Extreme Physical. Now, I do say Extreme Physical because I do think this team really needs the help. Um, I'm, I mean, Angel Golden Frieza is still very good. But again, looking at the other units here, Extreme Physical just desperately needs help. Cooler and Omega are very good after their EZA, but like I said, we need more Saiyan representation, in my opinion, in this category. Because Broly is not very good anymore, like, he's aged. Um, again, there, I, I mean, just, dude, just literally pointing this out, I mean, there's barely any Saiyan representation here when it comes to Extreme Physical. Because my other choice would have been um, very easily Extreme Tech. Because, as you guys know, Extreme Tech is the category that desperately needs help all the time. Um, and again, for me, I would much rather have him be Extreme Tech. But I think they might might make him excuse me, Extreme Physical. Because we technically already have an Extreme Tech Raditz in the form of this guy. But, again, I would much rather have him be Extreme Tech. For one reason and one reason only is... Um, where is he, dude? Where is he? No, how come he's not there? Man, that doesn't make sense, but it's because of um, LR Great Ape <laughs> Vegeta. LR Great Ape Vegeta is, in my opinion, the biggest reason why I would want Raditz to be extreme tech is because of him alone. Um, and again, this is going to play into directly uh, what I think his leader skill could be. Because as you guys know, uh, this guy came out during the 7th year anniversary, and even after his access to a 200% leader skill... Many people still think that he lacks a certain umph uh, to his character, which, in my opinion, if they do release this new Raditz, I, again, I pray that they make him extreme tech, because then you could be able to run him with this guy. Uh, again, he is the main reason why I'm begging them to make him extreme tech, um, even though, again, I could very easily see them putting him on extreme physical, because, again, in terms of the extreme class Dokkan Fest that we've gotten, we've gotten AGL and we've gotten Int. We're missing physical, tech, and STR. But the main thing that I am kind of avoiding with um, STR is that, again, extreme STR is already very, very stacked. And if the Dokkan Wiki could load a little bit faster, thank you. Uh, again, extreme tech is very stacked. Um, again, all of these units are much better now because of the fact that they have access to the 200% leader skill like Bojack, Cooler... Um, and so on and so forth. Again, the Goldo and, and Raccoon unit. Uh, you know, Kid Buu is also still a monster even without being on a 200% leader. Actually, no, I think he has access to the 200% leader skill. But, again, Extreme STR really doesn't need the help. Um, and, again, in my very, very accurate, I think, opinion, this boy's going to end up being a tech or physical. And, again, tech to me is just something that's going to be way more... Uh, impactful for him as a unit because again that's going to basically give him a guaranteed spot um, in terms of usage for things like Dokkan Battlefields or maybe Extreme Super Battle Road stages um, in the future again he's just going to be a very very good option if they do make him um, both either, um, either Extreme Physical or Tech 
but um again now what exactly he could look like is what we're going to talk about now so i'm going to kind of base my design off of him based on this guy right here uh this raditz is actually still a very good unit for things like super battle road um he is essentially built for that event because again he has a high chance to stun on his super attack which is a two turn stun he also has another chance to stun from his passive uh which i believe is only a one turn stun yeah, and, and stuns the attacked enemy and reduces damage received by 50% when facing two or more enemies. But again, this is only a one-turn stun. Um, and again, as you guys can tell, when he's facing multiple enemies, like in Super Battle Road, he gets damage reduction, this guy does. So again, very easily, you know, you can tell that this, you know, future Raditz that's going to be coming could potentially look similar to this guy. Just, of course, way, way better. Um, in my opinion, I think what they should do to him is very simple. I don't think they should give him, like, a transformation or anything like that. Um, if anything, they should do something similar to Kid Buu, where maybe he builds up, you know, attack and defense, you know, with each attack he does or with the attacks that he receives, and then also give him, like, a permanent battle buff, um, active skill buff, like Kid Buu, because Kid Buu gets 20%, maybe give Raditz, like, a 25%, um, you know, from an active skill that he does, because, again... Raditz, honestly, is a character that, in my opinion, is very underrated in this game. Uh, again, he really only has a couple of cards. Um, and in terms of usable cards, really only this guy and the EZA for the Int one is usable. But the EZA Int one you really only used in, like, World Tournament. You don't really use him in difficult content unless, again, you're doing things like Super Battle Road where it's not as hard. But, again, considering that now we're in the, you know, realm of, like, the Red Zone and all of those difficult, much more difficult content... Again, what I would love to see from this um, Raditz is make him like a slot one defensive god. Uh, because again, that goes in hand to hand to what I was saying. It would greatly help out that LR grade 8 Vegeta. Um, so similar to how this guy's built, I would maybe do like 100 or maybe like 200% attack and defense at the start. Reduces damage by 50% and gains another, I don't know man, 30% damage reduction crit chance and stun chance maybe he gains another uh 30 damage reduction 50 percent crit and 50 percent chance to stun with each attack he receives or something like that um of course maybe people may not like the fact that he gets stun chance from getting hit but again it's just like something different that i was thinking about and very you know easily something that they could give him and i could see them doing and maybe he gets extra attack if he's facing two or more enemies because, again, with the 200% at the start plus the damage reduction, again, this guy's not going to be taking a lot of damage. And then with the extra damage reduction that he builds up, you know, that's going to make him very good. And they've been very frequently putting, like, raises defense on the super attacks of these characters. But for Raditz, I would love to see, like, greatly raises defense on his super attack with, like, a 50% chance to stun. Uh, and then for the other part of his passive, all they really could do, in my opinion, is, like, maybe make him an orb changer. Or make him a support type unit. Uh, maybe make him a support type unit for like two categories. Uh, two categories I could very easily see him doing that is to the low class warrior team. And maybe like space traveling warriors or terrifying conquerors. Um, I think either one of those would be really really good for him uh, to support. Or maybe support both. Maybe do like low class warrior and terrifying conquerors. Uh, three key 40%. You know. Just make this unit super bustedly good is what I'm basically getting at. Because again. Ginyu, when he came out, is easily the best TR in the game. Like, he's bustedly good. Uh, many people are still very controversial, or, or not controversial, but many, uh, many people are still debating into Majin Vegeta. For me, personally, I've used him. I do think this guy is disgustingly good. I would actually argue many people would downplay him. Um, so again, make Raditz like a defensive support type god. Make him a unit that you want to run, essentially, is what I'm getting at. And again, his leader skill, to me, is very simple. It should be low-class warrior... And either Terrifying Conquerors or Space Traveling Warriors. Because I doubt they're going to make him a Goku's family, uh, you know, leader. It doesn't really make too much sense. Even though technically, again, he is on the Goku's family team. And I doubt they would make him Pure Saiyans. I think they would want to save Pure Saiyans for a different unit. Uh, specifically, maybe even the Saiyan Day. Uh, not, not, not Saiyan Day, but Golden Week unit. Um, again, I think they would probably want to save that leader skill. Or who knows? Again, they could do Low Class Warrior... And pure sane for all I know. Or maybe do pure sane and terrifying conquer. Uh, uh, terrifying conquerors. But again, for me personally, I would love to see low class warrior and terrifying conquerors. Again, three key 170% to stats. And then with the 200% leader skill, uh, make it um, pure saiyans get an extra three key and 
or or actually no just the 30 percent attack and defense so again specifically i say that they should absolutely do low class warrior is because they already easy aid all of the bardock members um specifically only on jp right now so i think making it so that it's like low class warrior and then an extra buff to pure saiyan to make it a 200 percent leader skill makes a lot of sense considering again they just easy aid these guys um so to me it wouldn't make much sense if they easy aid them but didn't give them a buff um so again for me personally the golden the absolute golden thing would be low class warrior pure saiyan simple as that because then that would also make a bardock much much better it would also improve the EZA for this LR Bardock. It would make this free-to-play Goku even better. Um, it would just essentially help this team that desperately needs the help. Uh, this team, again, is not very good. Uh, you do have some very good options here, don't get me wrong. But this team overall is not good. Again, this Dokkan Fest uh, Goku has aged, again, really poorly. He's not very good at all. Like, he's actually quite bad, I would argue. Uh, but again, with the 200% leader skill, it could very, very much um, help him in the future. Um, like I said, the Team Bardock units could all use uh, the buff. Again, after their EZAs, they're all very, very good units. So again, you could very easily run like a free-to-play team with like, um, you know, Bardock as your leader and then a friend Raditz, you know? And then you could genuine, like, genuinely beat difficult content. Um, obviously, maybe not like red zone stages, but you could defeat semi-difficult content with like a mostly free-to-play team. Um, again, version Z Goku, again, I've talked about this guy extensively. I use him all the time in my showcases, but he's easily, in my opinion, the best free-to-play unit in the game. Again, a lot of people might say Master Roshi, but to me personally, he is the best uh, free-to-play unit in the game. There's no doubt in my mind. He, he to me, is just by far and away the best. Um, so again, giving this guy access to a 200% leader skill, um, I think is really, really damn good. Um, and again... Uh, the EZA for this LR Bardock. Oh, I clicked on the wrong Bardock. But essentially, you guys get the gist. Again, the low-class warrior team desperately needs the help. Um, and then giving, you know, them a 200% leader skill is just exactly what they need. Now, Terrifying Conquerors and Space Traveling Warriors. These are two categories that recently have gotten access to the 200% leader skill. Specifically, Space Traveling Warriors. Because, again, if you're both on Terrifying Conquerors and Space Traveling Warriors for, again, Captain Ginyu... Uh, again, who is, you know, the, the other leader, you, you basically get a 200% leader skill buff. Now, for a secondary leader skill, I could very easily see them doing Terrifying Conquers. Again, a lot of people don't want him to be leading it. Many people say Space Traveling Warriors. But to me, it kind of fits Raditz's, like, description a lot better if he's a Terrifying Conquer. And then he just gives the extra buff to Pure Saiyans. Because if he's a Terrifying Conquerors leader, again, Turles would then have access to another 200% leader. You would have, again, Great Ape Vegeta have access to another 200% leader. You would have LR Nappa and Vegeta access to another 200% leader skill. Um, actually, no, Turles, no, because it's it's Turles and, and the gang. Uh, Turles and, and, his, and his whole army of people, so technically he wouldn't count. But again, Nappa would, Vegeta would... Uh, who else is pure Saiyans and on this team? This Dokkan Butoden Vegeta, who I think is personally underrated. Uh, this um, recent EZA um, LR, or not LR, but this EZA uh, Grady Vegeta. Um, Turles is actually someone I really wanted to touch on, but potentially this guy could get his EZA during the celebration. And again, it would make sense if they make him a Terrifying Conquerors leader, give that extra 30% to pure Saiyans, and boom, this guy has his EZA, and he has access to a 200% to a leader skill, so... Again, that is another great possibility that we have in the bag that we just have not talked about. And then just going down the list, again, this guy would have access to it. Um, again, there's not a huge, you know, number of, you know, pure Saiyans on this team. Uh, but again, it would more than likely help them. Uh, again, if we take a look at Space Traveling Warriors, again, a lot of the similar units do appear. And maybe there's a little bit more variety um, if we're talking about this team in general. Uh, because again, yeah, because yeah, actually, dude, there's a lot of overlap here. A lot of the units that I mentioned over there are actually on here as well. So, honestly, it could go either way. Um, <laughs> really, depending on what you want, it could it could essentially go either way. But you guys essentially get my point. Um, again, I just want this Raditz to, again, be a support type unit, be a defensive god, low-class warrior, terrifying conquerors, plus a 30% to pure Saiyans, I think is the best 
and most ideal thing that they should do. But if they make him a space traveling warriors leader, again, I, I'm, I'm not complaining. Um, either way, he's going to be helping that LR Grady Vegeta, which and which at the end of the day, for me personally, is extremely and criminally underrated. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is kind of like my little rant here about what I think Raditz should be. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for Raditz. I most definitely am. I'm actually looking forward to him. I might throw a multi um, at his banner just because why not? Uh, but again, we'll see what he looks like when he comes out. Again, hopefully they don't shaft him. Again, my biggest hope is either support type uh, or rainbow orb change or something like that just to really help him um, on the teams that he's going to be able to, you know, very, very uh, nicely impact. So again, that is going to do it for today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. The name of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.